passion's coming back for the start of school. I've learned a lot. Art wasn't really, art wasn't really my thing, you know? I'll be right here. You're not gonna mess it up. It brings life to the community. You know, you're driving down Linden, you're gonna turn around, you're gonna see some great art. It's just great for them after being home, like, all, all the time. For like a year, like, it just get boring inside, get, like, stuffy, you know? This is what our community looks like, not what everybody thinks it is. We applied for a grant to make a mural during Summer Rising, and we got it. The partnership um, between the DOE with the Thrive, and they were able to put the money together to pay for the teaching artists. Grab a brush, you guys can paint out the same cup. The idea is to do a postcard, trying to show the like positive things. We're also going for like community, um, like diversity. It shows what we're about. We have a lot of depictions of essential workers. Got like UPS guy over here. You have the basketball team. The Brownsville Recreational Center. You have the three train. You have the Brooklyn Bridge. This is the opportunity for them to celebrate what they feel, Brownsville, what Brooklyn is, what their school is. This has sort of been like a healing process for everyone. Was it hard for y'all when you heard about her passing? We have Principal Romaine. She uh, passed away last year from COVID. You gotta tell her, she's a good person, you know, great principal. She was great at what she did. She was also an art teacher. The banner at the bottom is going to be a quote from Miss Romaine. That something she said every day. It meant a lot, you know? Which was, we never we lose, we either win or you learn. The purpose of that is that everything is a teachable moment. Students come from like a lot of different situations. Our partnership in our school with New York City Mission Society, we've been able to pay these students. I'm actually a teenage mom, so it's helping me out with paying to get my daughter what she needs. We also have our former graduate, Bashar Pop Smoke. Wants to put him in, like, in his cap and gown. He did come here, he did work hard, he did graduate. It's amazing. So many people have stopped, and we've gotten to see the smiles on their faces. Saying that they like the work, and you know, it, it feels good. We're shining the light on Brownsville. I feel like people could, like, learn from this. Greetings from Brownsville.